Hello, viewers. So, as the Supreme Court is set to deliver their judgment today, I will be giving us details on the real issues on ground, which is the issues that Peter Obi and the Labour Party and also Atiku Abubakar and PDP has presented to the court that is capable of disqualifying Bola Ahmed Tinibu. These are crimes that he committed that are capable of removing him from office. I will be giving us details on this and also i'll be showing us nigerian expectation on the judgment from the supreme court today so before we go into details on this please do well to like this video and please do well to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe so you get updates whenever we post a new video so these are the appeal that peter obi and the labor party and also atiku awobaka and his party made against tinibu at the supreme court one drug trafficking and money laundering case and $460,000 for feature, 2. 25% in FCT, 3. Forged certificate, 4. INEC not following its guidelines, 5. VP's double nomination, 6. Election rigging, 7. Dual citizenship and perjury. So these are what they tabled before the Supreme Court what the appeal court looked at and gave Nigerians injustice and it has been tabled before the Supreme Court. And like we know, the Supreme Court have extended their judgment so that the FBI records against him will not come to light. But we know that what we have already as evidence against him is capable of disqualifying him from office because we know the strong evidence that Atiku Abubakar got from Chicago State University that it is strong enough to unseat him because according to the school, they did not issue the certificate he presented to INEC to him. So this is actually a clear case of certificate forgery, which according to the law of the land, anyone who forged their certificate is not qualified to run for any government office not to talk about the president and also if you are already in that position you must be disqualified and this is according to our law and these are the reminders we are giving to the supreme court the nigerians are not ignorant the nigerians know the truth and we know the appeal before them and the evidence before them and we are asking them to do the right thing in this case not to just go on to uphold the tribunal tribunal judgment but to ensure that they give nigerians justice because it's already clear to everyone that what they are doing is that they are trying to uphold its illegitimacy because of fear that the fbi record will shatter everything they are building up as technicality to give to us that's why they shifted their dates backward so that they will complete all the things they have planned against our nation nigeria but we know that this is beyond the now this is for the future of nigeria we know how his certificate forgery saga and other issues is already affecting nigerians especially nigerians in the diaspora and this is what we are trying to put an end to that's why we are asking the courts to do the right thing so that the people the nigerians voted for can come into power so that we can begin to enjoy the dividends of democracy and so that together we can rebuild our nation once again Reacting to the judgments that we are expecting from the Supreme Court today, Steve Hanke here, who is not a Nigerian but a US citizen, said, The Supreme Court of Nigeria has announced its reserve judgment in President Tinibu's diploma forgery scandal. The puppets are behaving. What a surprise. Hmm. And our person here said, We want every lover of democracy and justice to lend their voices to save democracy in Nigeria from the hands of corrupt judges and politicians for the interest of the dying masses. And this is it. Lend your voice so that we can save our democracy. It's not funny. It's not funny that something that is obvious, something that everyone, even a toddler, can understand that at the end of the day, these people will look us in the face and tell us that the evidence are not strong enough. This is not what we want. We want the right thing to be done. 
and international bodies have also done their part just like George Nancy said she said that it is not in her power to decide whether Tinubu will be the president of Nigeria or not but what she has done is that she has told Chicago State University to release the document and also swear under oath which they did and told us that Tinubu did not get the certificate he submitted to INEC from them but now our judiciary that is meant to do the right thing with all of this evidence is fighting hard and trying hard to support him and to uphold his illegitimacy. Another person here also reacted and said the corrupt judges want to legalize forgery and criminality in Nigeria. Prayer against unjudged election petition judgments at the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Dear Lord, we adore and thank you for being our God and Savior. We plead for pardon for our sins. Father, we worked hard and voted during the last election for our desired presidential candidate, but some powerful corrupt persons are hell-bent of foisting a wrong candidate on us. Trusting in your unfailing love for your children, we commit all the Supreme Court judges into your hands and pray that your power shall confound or remove those of them that will be willing to serve the interest of manipulating judgment against the truth. Amen. So this is what this person here is praying. And he's saying that Nigerians went out in mass to vote for their preferred candidate. But INEC started it by giving us the person that we did not vote for and then the appeal court sealed it now the supreme court we don't know what they are going to do but all we can say and all we will keep saying is that the supreme court should look at the evidence before them and give us justice because when you give justice it will be clear to everyone not just nigerians alone that justice was served in this case Another person here also reacted and said they are rushing to deliver judgment before FBI releases the documents and this is it. It's something that everyone already knows. Another person here said they are delivering the judgment hastily to prevent further evidence for the FBI release of Bola 8 Sinibu's criminal records slated for October 30, 2023. We know the Supreme Court will deliver injustice which will result in the unexpected. Hmm. This person here also reacted and said totally embarrassing that the Supreme Court of Nigeria could fast forward the 30th October judgment day to avoid the outcome of a legal action overseas preceding their judgment, regardless of what they come up with. If a crime is established overseas, then it will be a futile, damaging, and disgraceful. And that is it, regardless of what they do today, we know that if the FBI release their documents and pronounce Sinibu as a criminal, it is obvious even to everyone outside Nigeria that indeed he is a criminal, regardless of the fact that they have retained him as the president of Nigeria and the disgrace will be international and them too, they are going to suffer it because course their name will be in the world record that these people as judges in the supreme court upheld criminality and did not give the people justice regardless of the evidence before them also reacting to this this person here said we don't trust the judiciary they are so corrupt to the core and have no integrity and our person here also reacted and said an international scammer even with illegitimate office you can't even better the lots of the masses fuel subsidy was the only dividend delivered to the doorstep of every nigerian but he still removed it carelessly without succor based on technicalities most of the actions will be dismissed because it lacks merit this is the slogan of the judges who else is expecting something different so this is what this person here is saying and 90 percent of nigerians and not expecting the Supreme Court to give us justice today. They just know that they will, at the end of the day, uphold illegitimacy. This person here also reacted and said, No matter the outcome from the Supreme Court, one thing is certain. Nigeria is in a worse shape today than it was after the February elections. If you were so angry then and wanted to protest and you did not because Peter Obi said we should follow the legal route, I have good news. You have no more excuse. Hit the streets. Stop finding who to blame. Get up and hit the streets. As at February, one dollar was just 460 naira 
and petrol was less than 200 naira, you know how much it is today. We now know the Nigerian system is totally corrupt. As of February, the judiciary was not fully exposed. Is it the cost of living? You as a Nigerian have no reason not to protest or even revolt today. Stop looking for who to blame. Wake up and take responsibility. Hashtag Tinibu must go. Another person here also reacted and said, Letter to Supreme Court Justices on the Presidential Election Petition Appeal. Dear Supreme Court Justices, choose not to go the way of Judas. 1. Without prejudice, I invite the Christians among the Supreme Court seven-man panel judges on the presidential election petition appeal to recall the story of Judas Iscariot, his 30 pieces of silver inducement, his shameful suicide death, and how the silver bribe was recognized as blood money and used to procure a land good only for burying strangers. Two, I advise you to share the story with your Muslim colleagues. 3. Any one of you whose decisions are driven by any other inducement order than the determination to uphold truth, justice, and the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria must make no mistake about it. He shall go the way of Judas. 4. Heavens have heard the prayers of millions of Nigerians suffering who have cried to God for help after fulfilling their civic responsibility of casting their votes on February 25, 2023, but wake up on March 1, 2023 to the news of an announcement of a winner by INEC that broke their hearts. 5. You had better choose the path of truth and honor and justice to avoid eternal regrets as well as shameful and spiteful memorial of you in the annals of history. Don't let anybody achieve their selfish evil ambition with your own condemnation. 6. There's still time to change your mind if it has aligned otherwise. 7. Remember the power you have is not yours to exercise as you wish, but given to you by the constitution for discharge of justice. Therefore, let the constitution guide you, not technicalities. This is too crucial a judgment that relying on technicalities to discharge it will be most unholy. 8. I wish you well. I prayed for you the most part of this night. May God help you in this lifetime opportunity to either set Nigeria on the path of honor or establish her along the route of disrepute and failure. 10. Note that the entire world watches. Don't allow your name to be used in classrooms in distant lands as example for highly corrupt judges. You are just few hours to make this decision and this is it. This is a lifetime decision that these people have to make and set things right, not just for them, but also for future generations. A certificate forger is not my president. This person here reacted and said, and that person here said, I know who my president is and it's not the certificate forger, Sinibu. Supreme Court can do whatever they want because I am not sure if their own certificates are in forged. Hmm. Another person here also reacted and said, Tinibu is not my president. So this is what Nigerians are saying. They are kicking against his illegitimacy and saying that he is not their president, that he is not the president of Nigeria. He is not the one the Nigerians voted for and the Supreme Court must do the right thing in their judgment today. This person here also reacted and said, God helps Nigeria's Supreme Court to see justice where justice is called for. God help them if they don't. Hashtag Tinivu must go. Well, many Nigerians need to stand against injustice even when the Supreme Court fails to see justice where justice is called for. God already helped Nigeria as a whole. The greedy ruling class are the ones not helping. Hmm. Another person here also said, Nigerian judiciary is as corrupt as other arms of government. I don't have 10% trust in them. They are expediting this case to beat the FBI CIA deadline of releasing Tinibu's file. Today, Thursday, the 26th of October 2023, will be remembered for hundreds of years to come as the day Bola Tinibu and the Supreme Court judges destroyed democracy and turned the Nigerian constitution into a mere paper note. 
Another person here also reacted and said, Now we have all known how criminal minded they are. Next time we will treat them as criminals they are and not assuming that they are civil as we are. Another person here also reacted and said, We are looking forward to the judgment, the continuation of the last judiciary judgment. Nigeria remains a nightmare until Nigerians stand up for themselves. Almost all the judges are absolutely corrupt. The rotting institutions have already concluded on cash and carry. It is certain they are not ready to do justice to this matter, even with open evidence. Shame on them and the certificate forger criminals. Another person here also said, No matter the ruling of the Supreme Court, Tinibu is not my president. He is a criminal, certificate forger, election rigger, and druggy, and we never find the legitimacy he desperately seeks for. Another person here also said, Criminal cannot be my president, but his way to power down to Supreme and Appeal Court with nothing to offer the poor millions of Nigerian people, so he cannot be my president. Another person here also reacted and said, The Bolatinibu who graduated from Chicago State University was born in 1954, whereas the person currently occupying Aso Rock states that his birth year is 1952. Justices at the Supreme Court, what more evidence do you require to be convinced that the Bolatinibu who studied at Chicago State University is not the same with the man in Aso Rock? And this is it, the evidence is already very clear. And Chicago State University themselves said it under oath that they did not issue him the certificates he submitted to INEC. So it's an obvious case of forgery and the law must be done. And they must give us their judgment based on the law. And that person here said, but are you saying the Supreme Court has looked at all the files that were filed less than a week ago? And written judgments already these people are not even pretending anymore and it breaks my heart to see nigeria sink even further the supreme court must note that if tinibu insists he attended chicago state university then he obtained an admission by deceit by claiming that he attended government college lagos when the school did not exist using that to enroll in a university is academic dishonesty that already disqualifies him as a graduate of any institution so this is what this person here is saying even if he wants to escape from what they said about him in chicago state university but he cannot escape it because it is obvious it's also obvious that he forged his government college certificate because the school was not in existence when he claimed that he graduated from the school all we can hope for now as well many nigerians is that the supreme court will do the right thing today we are just waiting just few hours to their judgment we are hopeful that they will give us the right thing today we are hopeful that justice will be saved because we will not forget that the real issues are one drug trafficking a money laundering case and four hundred and sixty thousand dollars for future two 25% in SCT, 3. Forged certificates, 4. INEC not following its guidelines, 5. Vice President's double nomination, 6. Election rigging, 7. Dual citizenship and perjury. So these are all of the strong evidence that we have presented before the courts that are capable of disqualifying him from office. So we are hopeful that the right thing will be done today. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. Please do all to share your thoughts about the video in the comment section. Please do all to like this video. And please do all to subscribe to our channel if you are yet to subscribe. So you get updates whenever we post a new video.